Now let's talk about travel timetables. Travel timetables show the expected arrival and departure time for vehicles, ships, aeroplanes and trains. Some tables even show the fares between uh, towns. So below is an example of a travel timetable for a minibus plying the route between towns X, Y and Z. So in this table, the minibus departs from X at 8.30 hours and arrives at Y at 11.15 hours. It departs from Y at 11.30 hours and arrives at Z at 14.10 hours. So our first task is to determine how long does it take to travel from town X to town Y. So in this case, time taken will be equals to arrival time minus departure time. This is 11, 15 hours minus 0, 08 30 hours so this translates to 2 hours 45 minutes How long does it take at Y? So again, time taken will be equals to the arrival time minus, I mean the departure time that the time that uh, it departs from Y minus the time it arrived at Y. So that is 11, 30 hours minus 11, 15 hours. So this gives us 15 minutes. A second timetable uh, a table is this fair table and this table shows fares in shillings between Mukure town and Thika town. Now remember there's other towns between Mukure and Thika and these towns are Kango, Mangu and Gatukuyu. So Cyprian traveled from Mukure to Gatukuyu and later from Gatukuyu to Thika. How much money did he spend uh, did he spend as fare? So to find the amount of money he spent, we have to trace his journey from Mukure to Gatukuyu is 30 shillings 
so here amount spent will be 30 plus from Gatkuyu to Thika is 40 shillings so this gives us a total of 70 shillings Now, if he traveled from Mukurwe to Thika without alighting at Gatkuyu, how much would he have saved? So, the direct route from Mukurwe to Thika is direct route that is the express we simply call it express route will cost 60 shillings so amount saved would have been Seventy minus sixty, so this gives us ten shillings.